I said, say, Doc, good evening. Say, I want I don't have any suit, you know, Papa. I do have any suit. Netflix, some. Hey, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Doc>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said, you. Netflix. Netflix, so, I want Yes. Then, since you started to the uh -huh. first thing I checked, me say, uh huh. Do I have enough air? Hey, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yes. Uh -huh. It's in the fle deflex, but. Kicking for so soon and introducing. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, but kicking the man that push. Mm. Uh -huh. I mean, they say, uh, okay, after a long time, I go to the yeah. US. Yeah. So I feel the one, but I say, ah, happy FM. Uh, Dr. Khan and the, the team. Mm -hmm. I said, we don't program this. Why not? I saw so, Bantin Minion. No. America, I didn't plan to buy you. I didn't bet you A natural baby, I feel it. So, what to mean to kill? No, what to mean a point in the right spot there? Or my response, yeah, mom, sister. Because I'm a young young guy, so much so we move. Hey, your time passed. Your time, I'm saying, yeah. Now, I'm going to go to you. Be me time, I pass it. And then, so wait, you, man. Me, how? Me, oh, wait, you. No, no, me, me, oh, doctor, wait, you. Said I, ah. Chat all plate we are not doing. No, no, no. What you want to say? If you make it, my older, but that's what they mean. There be if you make it. No, I'm a young man. Oh, you're out of the market. But boom, gora gora gora, baby, na mo mo nyedi. I brought me Hubi. We have been here, Kevin. Jago Paul. I knew we didn't say all day. We have been here, Jago Paul. Kevin. Who is he? Who feeling high life? Let me tell. I don't know you, Miamba. Oh. Good evening, viewers. You're welcome to Girl Vibes. Um, clip here, I see I is a clip of Dr. Khan. I'm sure most of you know what has happened to Global Media Alliance as a whole, a group, Happy FM. Dr. Khan, I want to know. So if, if, if you just watched the video, I'm probably sure that by now you've heard the news. And if you are not seeing Mercy on set today, well, and it's it's a very difficult time a very very difficult time and if you know mercy you know that it's a very 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 difficult time for her so she's not in the seat today but i'm here to try and sit in for her for the time that she's not around and i mean basically till she comes back yeah money shedding we know that it's very difficult but with god god strengthening all of us things would definitely get better with time. And uh, if you see us in the seat today, if you see me in the seat today, I'm wearing black, obviously. We are here celebrating Dr. Khan. <laughs> yes, we have some guests here with us. We will be discussing about the man, what he did for us, what he did for the industry, who he is. And legacy are with Jamaican to be able to follow suit as well. So that's why we are here. Um, I would introduce them to you, but before I do that, let me take a quick break. But before I take a quick break as well, still let me remind you that you're streaming live or ETV Ghana. So so please do go there. You can share to your friends and families. Or more Munim no more Martin and voice, but they didn't really know much about him. We are going to be talking about these things today. To at least share to your friends so that they can also join in, watch and learn a thing or two about this man. And um, before the show begins, let me take a quick break. But today we'll try and make sure that 
we make it work right here on Girl Vibes. Let me take a quick break. When I come back, I want to introduce my guest to you and we start with a conversation. Please do stay tuned. Yeah, welcome back from the commercial break. If you're now joining us, this is Girl Vibes. My name is Abigail Apia, and uh, meet Nemo Amamersi B, the Ekumfi Princess. She's not here with us. If you missed out before we went on a break now, Mikhan Wasem said it's an extremely difficult time for her, basically because she is the producer for um, Dr. the late Dr. Francis Khan, Ewoni Shows, so on Happy Aiko, and a um, showbiz extra in our happy FM. So she is the producer for this um, this man, this adorable man, this amazing man who is no more with us. If you are not seeing her here, basically that's the reason why she's not here. She's grieving. So for a while or for some time, I will be sitting in for her till she comes back. Um, before and so I call break, breaking, we catch her say streaming live on Facebook on ETV Garden and Team Israel. Mr. Webber, share my mouth for him, just so we can all celebrate the late Dr. Francis Khan. My name is Ohun. The video kaka, Ohun. We see in a voice, a radio. So you've 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 heard or you've seen him on Facebook or something for some time, but probably you don't really know much about his personality, much about who he is. And it's not only you are we are celebrating the late Dr. Francis Khan. I am here, and I'm not doing this alone. I'm here with three beautiful ladies from different um, parts of the whole Ghana. I, basically, they are here with me. They knew him very, very well. And Omoni may be come about this man. It's very difficult in the studio, but let's just get straight into it. I have with me my first guest, Aisha Tuzakari. Hi. She is a sports journalist. Aisha. Hi. I mean. uh, cover. I know. I know. Thanks. Thank you. How are you doing? Surviving. We pull through. We are surviving. And to my second guest, she is Nana Ajua. Nana Ajua is also a broadcast journalist. Onuankasawa, a few words about herself just to introduce herself and then we move. Nana Ajua. Hi. How are you doing? Um, I'm okay. I'm trying to be okay. You're trying to be okay. Yeah, because entering this place, anytime I was going to pack and then I was going to Dr. Khan's show, then entering and seeing someone there and not Dr. Khan, and coming to talk about Dr. Khan, it should have been something that he has done for me to tell people how great he was or how great he is. But not to come and talk about him because he's no more. So it's... Sorry. Sorry. I'm Sorry. fine. You're fine. We'll get back to you. We have another guest, our third guest. She goes by the name Clara. Clara. Mm. Clara, it's saying. Oh, yeah. I'm trying. You're trying. Mm. Viewers. As you can see in the studio right now, Adani is your own crown. We haven't even started the conversation, but again, but we are here to celebrate this man, you know. In as much as he's no more with us, there is a reason, and probably Yemubia, we don't know the reason why he's gone, but we just need to be thankful. We never know. Probably he's somewhere doing okay, and he doesn't want to see us in this state. And tell you guys and the world of how good a person he is. He has been to us, to the industry, to individuals. And see, that's why we are here. If you see people in tears, it's difficult, but it's allowed because sometimes you need to cry and let things out. And see, 
whilst we do the talking, we'll cry and then we'll move. And God will definitely move with us. Aisha, let me start with you. The studio is already like, yeah. it's, it's, it's sad with all mm -hmm. this black, with all these tears. I'm quite sure we produce a many tissue because it's <laughs> becoming yeah. a bit like a many tissue I'm a guest. Aisha, let's start with how did you know Dr. Khan? When is saying, when was the first time you met him? I think I joined Happy FM in 2017. That's in February. So been working with the Happy Sports. Um, I mean, before the late advice I left, it was advice that I was doing mm -hmm. the, the ICO, right? So my encounter with Dr. Khan will be probably in the office when he comes around because, um, you know, earlier his show was in the afternoon. Doc used to have a show in the afternoon, so there were a bit of encounters there. But mostly on weekends, when I come to produce a commentary or a Saturday show, because just after Showbiz Extra, there's a sports, weekend sports on Happy FM. So <laughs> it's always interesting because Doc will be there and he'll try to take my five minutes and then I'll go stand at the back and I'll tap him Doc. Sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. Awesome. And then he'll just look at me and say, okay, just give me five minutes tomorrow or next week then you can take 10 minutes of my time. Mm. So it was always interesting meeting Doc in the studio. I mean, Doc is an all-rounder. He was not just an entertainment person because any news about sports, you, you would think he... He just understands it as, as the layman, but Doc can have a conversation with you about sports that you that you are practicing sports journalism. Then you'll be like, oh, wow. Then you need to up your game because he demands some answers that if you are not careful, you mm. will find one thing. And when he took over um, Aiko, again, after one put to sports, then Aiko, then Doc mm. will come in. So it's always interesting just like how he wants to take my five minutes on weekends now so, the, so the table has five said minutes. that i have to leave the studio for him to come and do aiko yeah. then i'll be like doc on weekends you take my five minutes so this when is i'm taking i'm taking away. also another i am in your That's time and when miss b is not around i have to sit in for her for around town and i'm not an entertainment person but i try to follow the trends and what's happening mm. uh, in the in the country and you have a conversation with Dr. Khan and you will learn a lot. Listen, you would smile, you will laugh. Doc is someone that when you engage him, you will never be the same again. In a way that he will impact your life positively. Like you will go out smiling. For, for, for some time, you will forget that you were having a problem before you had a conversation with him. On Wednesday, I was at work. When Doc comes, he sits just opposite me. Mm -hmm. The sports, uh, sports deck. So mm -hmm. he, he came there. He loved AC. Doc, Doc cannot sit without the AC on. Come and on I do, and I don't like <laughs> the AC. So when Doc comes to sit close to me, I just take the remote and then I'll hide it. <laughs> the way he can he just raise his head. I was like, who of the AC? I mm -hmm. said, I did. Doc, this is not your department. Go to entertainment department. <laughs> this is sports. So where's the way he came? I up the AC and then he was. I was there with a colleague and he said. Who of the is? I said, Doc, I did. This is my department. It's not yours. Go and sit somewhere. He <laughs> said, Oh, I should. Too. That's how he called me. Please own it for me. So I did. And then he sat on Okocha's desk, just opposite me. He Then he laid his head on the text and he, he slept for like 10 minutes. And I was playing music on my laptop and I increased the volume. And then he woke up like, I should. You are disturbing me. I said, Doc, sorry. That he did like he did Sakura. I don't know whether he normally does, but for me that was like the first time I was seeing him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, hey doc, this Sakura dear, mm -hmm. I don't like it so. So on Wednesday we had a conversation. On Thursday, after we did our sports, I was expecting Doc to come in. I didn't see Doc, then I saw Ajin. The Messi was at the production side. So I was like scared with the DJ, like uh, but where's Doc? So oh no home fano. Pause then for me. We will come to that. We'll come to that. Nanajwa. Hi. Nanajwa, tell me your experience with Dr. Khan. When was the first time you met him? Okay. So, um, I think I met Dr. Khan five years ago. Okay. Or six years ago. In November will be six years if okay. he was still alive. 
Um, we're in the creative industry, so we always meet each other. So the first time I met him, he was with Ifia Papavi. Mm -hmm. I think we were having something to do with tourism, and he was just there. He was like, hey, I'm going to your friend was saying, I said, Pacha, your friend is not a friend. He said, Papa. Then a few people started laughing at him and they left. So from there, we started meeting. Mm -hmm. Then we talk. Um, three years, four years down the line, he would call me. I dream of a guest tomorrow. I used to produce a show, Rendezvous. So he would bring a guest. If it's an up, up, upcoming artist or whoever in the industry, he would just call me. And I said, Doggy, Munyo. He would just send me. Mumu, what you for? We call lunch. Yeah, very necessary. Very necessary. <laughs> so that was it. Like, even when he wants something, if if it has to do with that tenka or anything, I was there, and he wasn't able to come. He would just call me and ask, "Oh, who call you? How did it go? What did they say?" Then I would tell him. Then from last year, he started bringing me on his show. Um, Saturday mornings, he would just bring me on the show, and I was like, the first time he called me, when Messi called me, he said, you're coming to Doug's show. I was like, ah, now Papa will call for it, you know. And I was like, what did my mom call? So I came, then after the show, industry players called me, and they were like, hey, who can say Papa? I was like, hey, Papa will call for it, you know, they will call. So I said, come, and any time they call me, I will come. Now remember I spoke about Sakodia BET, I think BET last no. year. Yes. The BET were like, even Sakodia wasn't nominated. Then we talked about it. Instantly, in the studio, I think Sakodia's team called, and the other people, some people were just talking about it. It became even a banter in the studios because of what I said. Then people started saying, hey, what are so? So I was like, ah, Papa, we didn't go for the end of the day, we show this one. So that was my experience, experience with Dr. With Khan. Okay. And um, apart from that, he was one person that would post me on a status. Mm -hmm. I watch people's status in the industry. I mean, I have almost everybody's number. But he's one person that will post me. Hey, I draw the assembly, like if I wear a dress or I'm saying something. He, you could vibe with him. Yeah. I will finish the show with him and go and eat fufu with him. Mm, yeah. I will just. Call Dr. Ken and say, Hey, dog, I'm going to catch you. I'm going to you. Like, you could, yeah. you could just call him mm -hmm. and talk to him. And, and this was someone that was also getting me jobs. Aside him getting me people, he was getting me jobs. I remember Emerging Music I was, that was last year. And you know, he has this thing. Um, for the up and coming, mm -hmm. okay. So then he's part of those organizing emerging music awards because then the up and coming artists they don't have anywhere to go. So he was like, Why don't we bring something like this together? And through him, um, Don Latte, if you have a and other people, they were able to do the show just to um, award the efforts and the contribution of these young up people. Coming. Then he was able to lobby for me to be the host. Mm. I did the hosting at the lunch, and I also did the, the red carpet. And all this, through all this, Dr. Khan was there just to motivate me and tell me I could do it. Then after, he took a picture with me, my girl, like with me sitting on the right and a fear on the left. And that one also became a big topic in the industry. Like he's doing both of us. And he basically put you out there. He put yeah. me out there. He was mentoring you because I'm telling he saw you. something in he you. He saw something in me that I didn't even see. Because yeah. I wasn't going to radio. Aside at Tenka FM, I wasn't going to any radio station. Mm -hmm. But it was Dr. Khan. Yeah. Then I said Ebudola. Mm -hmm. So he is somebody I'm supposed to say thank, thank you, you to. And I didn't. And I'm sitting here talking about the man. It's so shameful. Like, even after the emerging awards, I was supposed to say thank you, mm -hmm. which I didn't. Sorry, Adwa. And now I can. She was supposed to say thank you. We are supposed to show our gratitude to people who help us one way or the other. And train because you don't know when it's going to be the person's last. If when you're ne ne ne, say thank you. Be appreciative. Let people know that you appreciate what they've done for you. 
Adoyo, mm. let me just ask you this. Yet he knew, you know, on Friday that he was no more. Mm. Days or months or weeks prior to that, how was your relationship with him? But before I obey your son, Pacho, mommy, take a quick break, Imra. When I come back, we'll definitely talk about that. Viewers, please don't go anywhere. We are talking about the late Dr. Francis Khan and the great things he has done for us. Do not go anywhere. Just sit tight. We'll be right back after this break. Welcome back from the commercial break. This is still the Girl Vibes right here on ETV Ghana. Um, if you've missed out on our first part, don't worry, we're still continuing. And we are still streaming live on Facebook and ETV Ghana and T. And Etrim Kai can still go onto our Facebook page and go and watch and listen to some of the interesting things that we are talking about today. Today, basically, we are talking about the late Francis Khan. Dr. Khan. He, he was a Happy FM presenter for Aiko and Showbiz Extra. And also, our very own Messi B, the Kung Fu Princess, was his producer on these shows. So if you are not seeing Messi here, I'm reminding you once again that she is grieving really hard. And we are going to be occupying the space for her till she comes back. Um, before we went on a break, Besides, say, how was your relationship with him days or months prior mm -hmm. to the demise of the late Dr. Khan? Well, <laughs> I know. My relationship with Dr. was very peaceful. Actually, we were having so many plans this year. Mm -hmm. He called me, that was two, two, three weeks ago. Um, there was this show. A whim, um, a whim festival around Latte. Uh -huh. He put me on, so me, then Doctor and uh, Londona, we went, and that was where I became too close. Then we we talk. I met him here mm. um, through In Bed with a Dream show. Okay. So he watched the show, and then he was like, "Hey, you know what that person I use you to honey?" Mm -hmm. That was when I got to know him and then he said i'll call you so that we talk more about entertainment so he took my number we chat all the time but the time me and doctor got very close was imagine music award mm -hmm. he used to send me messages but i am that type of a person my message i can take like one month before you read before i read and he was fighting that why is that you don't you don't reply my message i was trying to explain to him so imagine music award i met him and he was like how are you do you know the talent you have you have a talent to let's talk let's talk so i was home he called me that there's a show coming up he wants to put me on because he know i will kill the show for him and i said no problem so i sent him a, one of my pictures when he saw the picture i was like ah, i saw this picture somewhere are you a photo model so i said yes are you still doing it i said no why and I explained to him that I had a management. And then the manager didn't like the photo model stuff because I was semi nude. Mm -hmm. So he made me delete all the pictures. And doctor was like, let me tell you, don't let anybody mm -hmm. try to ruin your career because mm -hmm. do you know this picture? I don't know, I see more things. When I watch this picture, I see more things that you can do that you yourself you have not discovered. Mm -hmm. So go back. Let me ask you, is that your manager still there? I said, no. So you see? So he made me, went back to my photo model again. Mm -hmm. And then when, after I performed at Omim Festival, he was like, I want to manage you. Because mm -hmm. Clara, after watching your show today, all the artists that came to perform, the female ones, no one is, no one can carry mm -hmm. show more than you. Mm -hmm. So I want to manage you. So when we sat in the car coming to Accra, he was talking to London and that I, I want to manage this girl. But we will sit down when we reach Accra. So yeah, by Accra, no, we only talk on phone. So he was supposed to call me on his show mm -hmm. before my album launch. That was 18 December. Then Nuna, I started to say, I said, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So the 18th December, he couldn't come. 
Okay. And he was like, Don't worry, I will call you after your abo lunch. Into your flyer be be a cry we na a cat date now, the best yes or no. And I want me a fine chess on the tenin can. So I called London and London I was like, Oh, doctor, no you are real. And I contacted him and was like, I know you are coming to fight me. Mm. I know my fault, but me hun ye. Me ya re afina me hua told me. It may throw next week. So I was supposed to come on the show this week. Hmm. Wow. Doctor has done a lot in my life. I mean, my music career, he, he has advised me a lot. But mom, I won't stand. Sometimes, mm -hmm. me yeah, maybe I'm a team of one or two much. Yeah. Then it's pulling me back. But mm -hmm. doctor has put so many spices in my music career and... I don't know. Hmm. So I think the one thing we can all agree to is the fact that he puts people out there. Yeah. yeah. He supports. He supports. Mm -hmm. So let's mm -hmm. talk about the entertainment industry, where he was, what he was doing there. Well, let me you because you are really there. You are there. Your show is about entertainment and all. When it comes to the entertainment industry, he's done a lot. Honestly, I didn't even know, say, after I heard the news, went on Facebook and started seeing people's messages about him, got to realize this man put lots of people on the map. Because there were people in the industry that I thought said, oh, they had their own way of coming in the industry, but apparently it was through Dr. Dr. Khan. And I was so surprised. Hmm. And then that made me realize that this man has done a lot for the mm -hmm. entertainment mm -hmm. industry. Even when it comes to, yeah, yeah, wow, crap, when we're having entertainment meetings, the suggestions he brings up, he wants to see the good of the industry. How, how well do you think, say, the message and I say, what me impacting in the entertainment industry? Um, when it comes to Dr. Khan, I think he has really impacted not just in um, the A-list artists, mm -hmm. but also, like I said, the emerging ones. Because he saw the need for them to be out there. Yeah. He saw that they were always struggling. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's take VGMA for instance. How many people will be able to go on VGMA? Mm -hmm. How many people um, would their songs be played on three music? Mm -hmm. But then he had the idea and also sat with people so they can do something for these young people exactly. and tell them that their efforts are not just being, um, wasted. being wasted but then it's being recognized exactly. it also contributes to the growth of the industry mm -hmm. so doctor has done so many things mm -hmm. when it comes to tourism he's always there he's always talking to Marco Krikumanti what are they doing when it comes to the film he's there so um, the last time we had a conversation, we're having it with the NCCA, mm -hmm. the National Commission on Culture. Mm -hmm. There are people who are here. We're thinking how we can inculcate um, the drama and you know the things we used to learn back in the days, mm -hmm. back in the syllabus, for them to also know, oh, this is important. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn music, then it should start from the grassroots, mm -hmm. as you being a kid. Because we all learned music, we all learned drama, we all learned those mm -hmm. things. So growing up, then you will really know what, what you, you want, want to, to do. do. So when it comes to doctor, it's not just about music, it's about everything. Yeah. And when it comes to his show, he has segments. Yeah. So this person is coming, this one is coming. Then the pundits are also coming, coming yeah. to share the ideas. Mm -hmm. So if you're talking about doctor's legacy or whatever he has left behind or his impact in the industry, it's not today. Mm -hmm. When I started here six years ago, and if you add dead. my film um, journey to it, then maybe we're talking about 12 years or something. Mm -hmm. But in journalism, then it's like six years. I came to meet him. Mm -hmm. And I heard of Dr. Long Long. Mm -hmm. Okay, and at my workplace, they were all like, ah, Saturday, be a meeting, no. Then you'll be surprised about the people that really listen to him. Exactly. But then they were not talking about him. Why mm. were you not talking about him? But you do listen to him. Mm. He has made a lot of impacts. I'm telling you. Even coming here from last year, the people I saw here mm. and the people doctor connected me to. Sure. It's amazing. You mm. should see a lot. Mm. So everywhere he is there, every meeting, every committee, he is part of it. He's writing also mm. on Facebook just to tell people that our industry will grow someday. Mm. You understand? So we can just sit here and say what he, he left a lot. Like, yeah. like this lady was saying, mm. 
he has imparted a lot in i think he connected me to, to her. her for her to be on my show or something i think so yeah yeah, yeah doctor connected her to me so it's it's a lot yeah. like yeah yeah baby what you mean canning in now because when i met dog he was sitting he's in a committee you know mm. our industry we have committee we have yeah. stakeholders and he's part of the stakeholders those who make important decisions, decisions for our industry to go and we wanted that impact mm. and he dedicated his show and his life to just to make it go mm -hmm. and i wish he has seen like i just wish he had got something out of it like i think about his life that he has li um, lived mm -hmm. and the impact he has made mm -hmm. can it be measured we to can't. what he has left for the family because mm -hmm. then if you're out there if you're in america or any other part of the world then we can measure it to what you have left for them mm -hmm. oh uncle back why you be i was just saying it last saturday what has he left all this bra or brain you know what did he give to these four kids Mm. You let's take his wife out of it. Mm. And I remember when doctor always posts the boys. Mm -hmm. Now I say, oh, my poor boy, he's always posting the girl, and, and, and the girl is he here. Mm. And you're gone. Mm. Oh, doctor. Doctor. Mm. Aisha, when we were talking, we spoke, sir, it's not just about entertainment. Yeah. Even sports. What the Neshewa. Tell us a bit about that. Politics. Now you, you, I remember some time back he was hosting the Epa Juan Dave, mm -hmm. and I was actually laughing at it. I was like, Doc, what do you know about politics? And he told me, listen, even the entertainment show that I post is politics. Even the mm -hmm. sports that you are doing, it it's is politics. politics. And it's really true. Listen, I remember when the current issue about the Ghana Football Association World Cup qualification, which coach are we going with? Uh, a lot of talks, whether we are going with Otuado or Chris Hinsey, and Doc was engaging me. I remember I met him at the entrance. There was this girl, this this guy who was selling uh, coconuts, and Doc was buying it. There. And then I, I I stood there. I said, Doc, I'll take one. And he said, Okay. And then he was engaging me. So I said, Aisha, most was one most thing. And then he was telling me that do I know one of the reason why we are always facing this problem between the Ghana Football Association and the Ministry or the government is because some of us, the sports journalists, we are not truthful. Yeah. And I was shocked because honestly, that's the truth. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, doc. He said, listen, I might not be in the industry, but I know what's going on. Exactly. That's why the last time I told you that everything in life, there's politics in it. And for me, it doc. Was basically all round. Doc, doc mm. was, doc was for me a, a, a painkiller. You know, I, I, I can have a bad day in the office and doc will just come. The mere mention of people's name will get you laughing. He, the way he, he likes laughing. Oh, 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 he, 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 he likes laughing. From Aisha Tools, today you call me Aisha Tools, and then you ask me, why is it that you're not there's two to it? And I say, Doc, that is funny. Just add it to. Okay, I'll not add it to Aisha, Aisha Tools. Aisha, <laughs> Doc is, uh, so, like, Okoro Kofo, Okocha. Yeah. Oh, the name has. The name He has the oh, a way that make he makes. Doc. And really, I. When I heard the news, I really didn't believe it. Because I was at the stadium. Yeah. Yes. And this was a, a man Ghana. that I met on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And I was at the stadium. And the network was so terrible. We couldn't get internet connection. And I stepped out to mm -hmm. send some visuals. And the first message I saw on the official page was, mm hmm. And someone said, dog, dog. And for me, it didn't make sense. Because what does dog, dog mean? Mm -hmm. So I, I went back. And we were running the commentary with uh, Kelly came to do our commentary for us. And I don't know, there's this guy out of nowhere. He was wearing a tag, so he was a general. So I was thinking, he came to talk to Sammy, the producer who was just behind the commentators. And he just tapped Kelly and he said, Dr. Khan is dead. Then I turned and I look at everyone's face. And people were just, so for like t 30 seconds, nobody spoke on end. The commentators were just, then I just said, carry on the commentary. And then we just brush it off. Then I step out. And then I said, okay, let me check if I can get it. There was no internet. So I have to go behind the studio. And I started saying, oh, no, doc. Then I called Rashida. And she couldn't pay. Then I sent her a voice note. 
I said, what's going on? Then she said, Doc has left. I said, left where? Hmm. What do you mean my Doc has left? But Doc was in the office on Wednesday. Today is Friday. He was sick for just yesterday, Thursday. How can someone get sick for just a day and the person died? What are you talking about? I got back and I told people, nobody believed me. Mr. Yangson was there with us. I told him, he said it's not true. Never, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. And listen, from that moment, I think we played for 68th minute, from that moment, everyone was off. We were just, we were just standing there, all right. But you could see people standing, but they, are, they were not in tune with themselves. Mm -hmm. We were just there watching, like a bunch of zombies. We are just... I was just like this. They're shaking my head because it was. We go out, made a lot of calls, and they confirmed. I couldn't. I couldn't react. I wanted to react so bad, maybe cry, shout, yeah. scream, yeah. ask God why, but nothing. I was just there. No emotions, no reactions. I was just. I was just there like. Someone who has no feelings. Like I couldn't I couldn't feel anything. I just pick a car. Poof, I went. Took a shower. I slept hoping that when I wake up, they were just say, Oh no, you were having a dream or oh no, he was in a long coma or so, stuff like that. This life can be really some way. Cause and they only need We are all here. We we are we all saw him on Wednesday. He was feeling fine. He was okay. He was happy. And honestly, on Wednesday, he was extra. Extra happy. Because you can extra. see from the video, he was dancing, singing. He was and extra. And then Thursday and Friday, we are about to watch Ghana match. We are about to watch Ghana And I'm also going to Ghana for Beshe Nigeria. And then some few minutes before the match begins. Kara, when did you hear about the death of the late doctor? Same day. How was the feeling like? My heart was. <laughs> I didn't even believe it because the person who told me was the organizer, one of the organizers of uh, Owen Festival. Mm -hmm. I went, uh, there's this club I joined, Rotary Club. So mm -hmm. we were having fun at that time because of the football. So they, we had a meeting. So some of us were celebrating birthday. So we are. Uh, hey, my many ajama, the dear no no, it's not fine. When last did I spoke to um Doctor. And I was like, that was Tuesday. So we are sure. I'm saying Tuesday, I'm in Kasa. I know you. I no go any home fun. I'm about to go to Juma Wednesday. Next week, I'll be fixing my promise. I know you. Doctor is dead. Oh, okay. I'm saying. I didn't say no, no. And I say, oh, it's true. Me pa me friend London na. Enti me oka me me brush it off. And I'm friend London na. Me friend na no on fa. Me friend na no on fa. Friend na me yem. I say she me say ah London na me friend mo. And enti ya iko na on fa on fa. So could this be true? Enti me gusu a friend na on fa na me testing na me testing na no no. Or sending me um emoji those tears mm. one. Na me say ah London na what's going on? I I heard. Doctor is dead. I, mean, I don't understand. What's he? I'm with him. That he died on his arm. Cry. Hey, say, yeah, ah, doctor. how? Doctor, I'm in the Tuesday. I don't see. Yeah, no, 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 Hey, yes. ah. You'll be talking to someone today. And then you ask yourself, Inti, we are working tirelessly every day. We are stressing ourselves. We are all chasing after the one thing that we feel will make us better, which is money. We are pesica in ninety. We are stressing ourselves. We are stressing ourselves, and then just one day, in the split of a second, and that's a minute. But here I say, we don't feel any more. 
Honestly, within the week that this happened, my very good friend, I had a call. I didn't even have a call. I got home from work just for my mom to tell me, say, Madame Fubako, very young, Wawari, fresh on your mirror. Wow. Wow. That's how sad life is. So, one thing I'm missing in all this is you never know when would be the last for someone. So, if there's anything you need to say to someone, uh, you need to amend some. Mistakes be away, obia fumo and abi bia. Amend it because we are saying, and you never know what might happen. So just do it and live today like it's your last because you never really know when it's going to be your last. Let me take a quick break on that. When I come back, we'll wrap up with our guest and then we'll be done. Please don't go anywhere, so tight. Be right back. I said, say, no. Say, I want ba. I don't want any suit to buy, sir. Say, I want papa. I do not any suit to Netflix, some. Hey, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Dog>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said, you. Netflix. Netflix, so, I want any. I want ba. Yes. Then, since you started to the uh -huh. first thing I checked, you know, sir. Uh huh. Do I have enough air? Hey, I said, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, come on, oh, yeah, sure. Yes. Uh -huh. It's in the deflex, but you're saying that. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, but you're the man of that push. Mm. Uh, and see, I mean, they say, uh, okay, after a long time, I go to the yeah. US. Yeah. So I found one, but I was, ah, happy FM, uh, Dr. Khan, and the, the team, mm -hmm. and said, we have a program. So Thank you. Why not? So, but in many, I know, America, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Natural, but be a feeling. So, what to mean to kill? No, what to mean a point in the right spot there? Or my response, yeah, mom, sister. Because I'm a young young guy, so much so we move. Hey, your time passed. Your time, I'm saying, yeah, let me tell you, and then some way to you, my man. Me, how? Me, oh, wait, you No, no, me, me, oh, doctor, wait, you said, ah. That's what they mean. Be no, I'm a young man. Uh, you're out of mo, the market. I'm going to I've been here, Kevin. Jagopo. I knew when you say all day. I've been here, Jagopo. Kevin. Who is the Kenny? Who feel it hard? I've been here. I don't know where you're from. Oh. 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 If you are now joining us, or if you've been joining us through this whole show, you know what we are talking about today. Basically, we are talking about the late Dr. Francis Khan. He was the presenter for Ayiko and also um, Showbiz Extra on Happy FM. And also Mercy B, the Kung Fu Princess, was his producer for, for these shows on Happy FM. So if you are not seeing her on her seat today, and then we go so Kyle, say she is grieving so for the time being we will be here covering up for her i uh, have been here with nanadra with aisha and with clara we have been talking about the late dr francis khan there was some few minutes to be ahead of wrap it up into let me just ask aisha let me start with you what is your like then i will back high dr khan for 
what is that one thing be I know say or be a can doctor Kana way there I remember him for this the fact that he lived a positive life there was no negativity in Dr. Khan. There was no enviness. There was no jealousy. Doc, just like how they mentioned, he was, he was okay putting you out there. He didn't see anybody as a competition. Doc, when he comes to the office, it doesn't matter if you are the cleaner. It doesn't matter if you are the junior staff or you are the senior staff or you are not an on-air personality. Doc doesn't care. He treated everyone equally. He... He... Only you? No. Doc... Doc was a good human being. Yeah, well, less than three minutes to go. Now, Nadra, let me ask you this. What is that one word that you can describe, say, a cancer doctor, Kana? One word that you can describe him with? And I say, any word, be what can you describe? Or how can you describe Dr. Khan? Mm. The way he connected me. So, I was just talking about the... It was a few minutes in the yes. end, through the emerging that I hosted, mm -hmm. I've got another contract from the same people. They also connected me. Mm -hmm. So you see what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. how he helps people. So he connects you there. If you do well, you then, you're, then you proceed. So I will always remember Dr. Khan for first putting me out there. Mm -hmm. And also my Soleil. Mm -hmm. And that. And mm -hmm. The man never held my money. Mm -hmm. He will always. I'll mumble you, and at that instant, it will come. Mm. Whenever he sees me, he makes me feel good about myself. Mm -hmm. Doctor, I can't do it, I so you can do it. Bring the paper, mm -hmm. let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. And that was someone we really needed in the industry, industry. to live long mm -hmm. and to help the young people coming out. Mm -hmm. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. At least with that, and you know, sir, he stand up for you. You also have to pick it up and then <laughs> move with it. Car. Final message for family and friends. Nebusian for Nyerene Nema we jomo. What is your message to them? Okay, what I would say is, uh, they should take heart. It's, it's a very big blow, yeah, and they should be very strong. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. One word he said to me, I would never forget. He said, Clara, you will hate before you leave this earth. Mm -hmm. Don't let anything discourage you. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget this word. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ladies, for being here. I know, sir, and uh, I have very, very difficult time, Mama, but at least we appreciate the fact that you are here to talk about this need man. To be treated well. Mm -hmm. Because with all the hassle mm -hmm. and the stress he went through, what has, he has left a legacy for the industry, but for his family. That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. What I'm has he enough. left for them? Mm -hmm. The kids, mm -hmm. they are four. A single mother, mm -hmm. what has he left for them? Mm -hmm. So if we're doing this, we should also tell company owners, the government, to put better remuneration for people. Mm -hmm. Journalists, we do a lot of work. Mm -hmm. They spend their whole, from morning till evening, sometimes are done, just to cover the news yes. and also talk about the issues. So this man, I just pray that God will see him through and God will see his family through mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. That's all I pray for the family. Mm -hmm. That God will see them through. I so for three boys and a girl, few words for the family. For the family, I, I, I cannot dare to understand how they are feeling mm -hmm. because I'm not in their shoes. They know what they have lost. He's the breadwinner for the family. So I cannot dare tell them that I know how they feel or I understand them. I don't. But I, I want them to know that God knows best and he knows what he's doing and they should trust in God. Mm -hmm. um, for the workers here, we just have to be strong mm -hmm. and try and hold each other's hand and pull through because it has been a difficult time for us here. So we pray that we will never wear black again because mm -hmm. I have had it enough. I have had it. Mm -hmm. I am. He was Ladies, thank you very, very much for being here. Viewers, if you did not know Dr. Khan as much as these ladies did, I hope so, ne, at least we knew a thing or two about him, about who he was, about what he stood for in the industry, in his workplace, everywhere. At least with Sunya Bibi, and also you'd apply it. 
and your mom can come and find you. We can see a bit in your far, and then we can also do it if you can help, if you can lend a helping hand to your friend in the industry. Boah, yeah, boy, and push ourselves there because at the end of the day, in I be cool, we will all go, but you need to serve your purpose first before you go. Probably he did serve his purpose, and you made man. What about you? Let's try and be each other's helping hand and go through this journey of life because the life isn't ours. And if you have any gratitude, any appreciation, you need to appreciate someone or to show to someone, do it now. Don't wait. So when you be a yaka, and talk about me pata and neyao, go back to the person, say sorry, even if it's not your fault, and just move because you never know when it will be the person's last. No few are now can say, oh, mini manka. And so now, Katri, don't let it be that way for you. Let's all try to live a positive life as well. And as much as we are talking about all this, take care of yourself. If you are stressed with work, if you are stressed in life, take a pause. I yes, I'm going to pause, and you wouldn't know. Because in a split second, you'll be able to meet everyone, So try to relax. Try to de-stress, kaka. And then... Thank you very much for joining us. I sat in for the one and only Kumfi Princess. She will be back soon. My name is Abigail Apia. We will meet same time next week right here on Girl Vibes. Bye bye. <laughs>